Natalia. First of all, I'd like to thank Linda Perry for putting this together for all the board, um, board time and all the candidates to have a chance to speak to the community. So thank you, Linda, and thank you, everybody that's here today. So I really appreciate it. My name is Natalia. I'm a resident of Providence, Rhode Island for 40 years. Born in New York and raised in Rhode Island. That's what I love to say. I've um, been a student of Providence Public Schools, all Providence Public Schools from elementary to high school, and graduated from URI in 2012. In 1996 is when I actually entered URI as a TV student. And between 96, 97, 98, I had my first child in, 19, in 2000, so I was still in school, but I um, had my first child. Then, 2001, I had my second child. So by the time that I graduated, it was actually 2012, so I didn't do an actual four years. It took me a long time, because I believed in raising my kids, right? And, and starting an education at home and, and early learning at home, because I had the basics. Ready? Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> Try it again. Try it. Hello? Can I shut it off? 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 Can I um, so basically, I've been involved with Civic Works since I was nine years old. My mom was sitting in the audience and took me to Washington, D.C. since I was nine years old to advocate for affordable housing, jobs, um, for the LGBT community to have equal rights. And this was all early 80s, so I was like seven, eight, nine years old. And that's um, where this passion for serving the community came from. Um, not only did my mom instill that to me, but also my grandmother. So it's just like a history of strong women in the family. Um, after the last few years, I've been working in, in several different organizations. One of my biggest um, accomplishments is, is an organization where we registered more than 30,000 people to vote in Rhode Island. And that was a great feat. And we also did citizenship drives for those people who are legalized citizens to become citizens and, and be able to register to vote. So I'm here today to tell you that I'm, not, I'm a Ward 10 resident. I've been working in civics since I was nine years old. I've been knocking on doors in the community, and some of you I've knocked on your doors, but I've seen you here today, so I thank you that you're here today. And as I've been knocking on doors, I've been learning from the community. I've learned that we've had several issues, not only the big ticket items, big ticket items meaning affordable housing, that we want better schools, we want lower taxes. Of course we all want this. Every candidate here is asking for the same thing and I know each and every one of us will work hard whoever gets elected. But I also heard from the constituents and the neighbors in Ward 10 is about sidewalks, speed, trees being pruned, cleanliness. How many of you have your street sweep this year? None. 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 The boulevard, the boulevard. That, how about the good? Yeah, but what about the side streets? What about South Providence on Colfax? What about Wyatt? What about Ohio? What about none? So these are the, the, the city um, um, infrastructures that we need to bring back to the neighborhood, and that's what I would fight for. I am listening to all of you today, and I've listened in the doors. So of course, I'm going to advocate for the big tickets, but I also hear that we need to, to improve our infrastructure, which is sidewalks, tree pruning, speed. This is a family-oriented uh, neighborhood where we have working class people and many, many, many children. And in this neighborhood, since I've been living in this neighborhood, it's a neighborhood where everyone knows each other. I have not visited not one street that has not told me, oh, have you visited my neighbor across the street? Oh, have you visited my neighbor next door? Because everyone is a community. And that's what is rewarding, and that is what's great about Ward 10. And I like to serve for, for Ward 10. And uh, some of the, the um, things I've done as I've heard these complaints is putting it through the 311 system. So I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but Providence has a 311 system. Um, and some of the chairs, we have seen some things that I've done already. So by providing the 311 system, at 298, 29 Indian Avenue, 
her water issue got fixed, and her sidewalk got fixed. On 19 William Avenue, where a person had a stroke a few years, years ago, and his sidewalk was totally like a disaster. And this person needs assistance in order to walk. So, on 19 William Avenue, they asked for to the sidewalk where he can now walk and he can pass to his own house Time. without um, any problems. Um, we can so, definitely continue this conversation. Thank you. But I just want to let you know that this is who I am, and I'm here to work for you for one time. Thank you.